Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to go over how to multiply decimals by a power of 10. If you haven't watched my video on the powers of 10 and how to multiply whole numbers by a power of 10, I'll put a link in the description in case you want to check it out. What we'll go over today is a review of the powers of 10 and multiplying whole numbers by a power of 10, step-by-step -step instructions for multiplying decimals by a power of 10, and then a few examples. So real quick, let's review some stuff before we move forward. A power of 10 is basically the number of 10 multiplied by itself a certain number of times, or it's the repeated multiplication of the number 10. We can write that in exponential form by showing 10 as the base and the index as being the number of times that 10 is multiplied by itself. So for 10 to the fourth power, it would mean 10 multiplied by itself four times. What we have learned from previous videos is, the index itself gives us clues as to how to quickly identify the standard form of this exponent without doing the repeated multiplication the long way. When looking at the powers of 10 as an exponent, the index tells you how many zeros your answer should have. So going back to our example of 10 to the fourth, the answer would be one followed by four zeros. 10,000 is the standard form of 10 to the fourth power. Now, last time we multiplied whole numbers by a power of 10 and found a similar pattern. For example, seven times 10 cubed. The answer would be seven followed by three zeros, so 7,000. You simply take the whole number and add the corresponding number of zeros from your exponent. It is the same thing as multiplying seven times 1,000, right? There are three zeros in 1,000 and therefore seven times 1,000 equals 7,000. But what happens when you start multiplying decimals by a power of 10? Can you add zeros to the end and get your answer? Not really. Let me show you an example. Two and a half times 10. If we were to add a zero at the end of 2.5, we would have 2.50. Look at that for a second. That is basically the same thing as 2.5, right? Nothing changed. Adding a zero to the end doesn't change the value of a decimal. When multiplying a decimal by a power of 10, the steps change slightly. Those steps would be, you can add the zeros as you did before, but now you have to move the decimal to the right. Let's walk through a few examples to show this. 0 0.50 times 10 cubed. Remember, when multiplying a whole number by a power of 10, we added the zeros and we were done. Well, we can still do that, but there's one more step that needs to happen. So let's add some zeros after the five. The second step. We have to move the decimal to the right the same number of times as our exponent. Our exponent was three, so we should move the decimal to the right one, two, three places. After we move the decimal to the right three spaces, our answer is 500. Let's check our answer just in case. 10 cubed is equal to 1,000, and 1,000 times 0 0.5 equals 500. If you wanted to, you could add the same number of zeros that is shown in your exponent, but depending upon where the decimal is in your whole number, you may have extras. But don't worry, you can remove those extras at the end if you want to. Zeros after a decimal point doesn't change your answer. Next example, 1.25 times 10 to the sixth. We write our original number down, we add some zeros, and we move the decimal place six spaces to the right. Our answer is 1,250,000. How about 7.853 times 10 to the fifth? We write our original number down, add some zeros, and move the decimal five places to the right. The answer is 785,300. Last example, 56 in 21 hundredths times 10 to the fourth. We take our original number, add the zeros, and move the decimal place four spaces to the right. The answer ends up being 562,100. That's it for multiplying decimals by a power of 10. We focused on using the power of 10 with exponents, but you can do the same type of problem by using a power of 10 that is not in exponential form. For example, 7 tenths times 1,000. You can add the three zeros to the end and move the decimal place three spaces to the right. The answer is 700. For more practice on multiplying decimals, with a power of 10, check out my additional resources page at improvemath.com. I have lots of free printable worksheets with answers that you can download. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. See you next time.